my thought. What was the cliffhanger? I just because <gasps> Jose mentioned the skeletons, I really like the Easter egg. What the fuck is wrong with you, Dylan? You having an asthma attack? I'm I'm like I'm waiting. Oh, you're it's hyping it up. Anticipation, yeah. Oh <laughs> no, it's like really stupid. I just really like in the, if anybody's played the new Black Ops Three Zombies map, which is Derizon Drac, that you can fight uh, skeletons in it. Ooh, nice. It's really cool. I don't know if you've They're seen really it. Cool. They they scream and it's fucking weird. I like Yo, Zelda. what if fucking time travel was real? That'd be fucking That'd be dope. really cool. I guess the question is, where would you time travel to? Where would I? But, like, would it be like... What would if it... you had one use, that's it? But, like, wouldn't it be like the butterfly effect? Not like the shitty-ass Nkuchi movie, but, like, actual butterfly effect? Like, But that's not what the butterfly effect is. What's oh, it? yeah, 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 it is. It but is. it's like, if you go into the past and you change something, that it will, like, alter... I thought, I the, thought the butterfly effect was that you do one thing and it sets off a chain reaction. Yeah, thing. it's just like, if you change, if you change, it, like, if you do a thing in the past or change something... It's like, if you, kill, if you kill, like, a fly in the past, it could... Or, a, bu or a butterfly. What would sec. you change if you could go to the past? Fun fact, Jerry's terrified of butterflies. What? what? It's his biggest fear. Oh my god! Oh my god, yo, I'm gonna capture a butterfly and let it set in his house. He's That's definitely amazing. afraid of butterflies and moths. That's hysterical. That's fine. Let's go. go. Wait, I what were you just saying? You were saying something? about the butterfly effect. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, what would you change? I don't think I'd change. I don't think I would change anything. That wouldn't really be. Like, I'd be scared. Like, like a lot of people say that like, they'd go back and kill Hitler, or go back and like prevent the Holocaust, or prevent that leader in China from killing all those people. But it's like, it's like, like no, like I was, I was, I was thinking, I was like, I would, I would prevent uh, John F. Kennedy's assassination. I think I'd prevent 9/11. Yeah, because that set us back a lot. Like yeah. it wasn't just the attack; it was the things that came after. And then we had a war, the whole war on terror. That was almost useless. We yeah. won't get into that though. Yeah. Uh, Leave for the podcast. Know, all right. Aside from political, political, and you know, worldly problems, if you could go to the past and change something about yourself, what would it be? <laughs> I know, but it reminds me. We were just talking about it recently. Uh, I don't. It's about uh, a, it's about a female. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd probably be an embarrassing thing. It would. It'd have been a not a, a person I was in relations with. Uh, you know what I would change? It was Dylan. Yeah, I wouldn't have fucked. Me, 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 me. Now when we do let's plays, it's just weird. It's just like. And just like, like, man, like when I, I say something you. funny, and and then Jose, and then and then Bobby's just like, you never say that when we're off the air. <laughs> uh, like if I could go to the past, like I remember in. We'll get that chest one second. In middle school, everybody always told me that this one girl liked me, and you know, when you're li when you're younger, the girl is, the girl isn't as pretty as she is now. Yeah. The point is, is that she really liked me in middle school. Everybody told me she likes you, she likes you, she likes you, and I was like, fuck. Oh. I was like, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. And then uh, I met with her recently, like maybe a few months ago. Yeah. She got super beautiful. I was like, "Fuck, man, I missed out." But like, you wouldn't have been going out. You've been going out when you were like 14, though. I mean, but it, it you know, different. What what, what what would you call that? Tim different timelines. You don't you don't know what could happen in the future. True. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking about. I was like, okay, now it's biting me in the ass now. What? That like I'm, I was trying to go up and you. F oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even mean to do that. I'm just trying. to... Got it. Alright. What were you saying, Heather? Oh, yeah, the thing about going to the past and fucking that girl. Uh, that, that's not a little. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's about as, Oops. as honest as I could get. Sorry. Shout out to the real Jose coming out there for a second. <laughs> Me trying to be a, be a little nice. Yeah, no. Oh, fuck. No, that's, that's a compliment, though. You want to have sex with That's That's a compliment. <laughs> I like I'm trying not to mention. What if you names. could go back? Oh, what if you could go back in time and have sex with anyone you want? Oh, Marie Antoinette. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine like he's like, I'd be hitting Rosa Parks in the back of the bus. Oh my feet. God, <laughs> Bobby! Also, this is a shout out to Mario, basically. It's like oh an yeah, old this is like a, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. Nah, she, yeah. wasn't she kind of like a skank? Still. I mean, she was still <laughs> she attractive. The president. She was still attractive. Freaking, I love Dave Chappelle's joke on freaking Marilyn Monroe. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Shut up, bitch. My family's here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, I feel like Jose's answer would be like Mozart. <laughs> like some old ass guy with the wig. Did I ever tell you about my Mozart boners? No. Uh, I had this. Uh, I had this thing in for in freshman year of high school. We had to take a music uh, appreciation class, and we listened to like a lot of classical music. And I would get boners listening to classical music, and I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was just being in the room or something. I think it, it might just be random boners because I got a bunch of them in like math class, and I know that <laughs> formulas aren't like hot. So I was like, Hey, you don't know that. And and like as soon as you get it, like a little bit of the chubby, it's like Dylan, put this on the board. Yeah, and you know, I fucking and, hate that. And then you're like. You're like half chub, you're oh. like, and it's like, can I bring my book up with me? And then you're like doing like some weird ass thing. I hate that because like when you get the random. Oh, 
Get me. You have to find the way to hide it. Like you put yeah. it up against your belt. You have to do yeah. the tuck up. Yeah, the yeah, tuck the up. Belt thing. The most effective, but girls, when I tell girls that, they're like, "Doesn't that hurt?" And I'm like, "Yeah." It kind of hurts. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt me. It depends not really. on how crazy the boner is. I don't have a dick, so. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, how do you do have that? you ever gotten those oh. boners that? Like, have you ever gotten the random boners that you get over and over and over again? No, nah, he doesn't have a penis either. Though. No, I'm talking about you, Bill. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Those hurt, man. Oh, I feel bad for him. No. We can just travel. What is that? Why do I keep dying? Where do we have to go? We have to go to Santa Lucita. <laughs> I keep dying. That means Saint Lucita. Yeah. No, it means Santa Lucita, dude. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, Bringing president. your presents. Delivers president. The president. The president. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what do you want boy? for Christmas? I want. I want family. <laughs> <laughs> What? What? Bobby doesn't know the president. <laughs> I did. I just said Felinor. Yeah, you just said super random. Felinor Roosevelt. Felinor Roosevelt. Oh my Yo, god. What do you want, little boy? I want Taft. I want Felinor Roosevelt. Oh, oh little boy, my you, don't, you don't know presidents. I keep, I keep dying. This I can name sad. like ten of the thirty-three. How many presidents are there? Thirty-three. No, no, there's forty-three. <laughs> no, I'm saying forty-two. Fuck. 44. Dude. I can name all of them. Uh, well, te well, technically it's 43 because of the fact that Grover Cleveland went twice. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, so Grover Cleveland was two Cheater. presidents. So that's cool. You keep messing up. Stop messing up. Stop. Let me do it. Yeah, you messed up too. That's what I thought. Shut up. Don't tell let me, me to do. Fuck. <laughs> Bobby, let me do oh, it. I know what you have to do. I know what you have to do. No, you're fucking it up. I know what you gotta do. You, gotta you do have this. to not push forward. Now that we were speaking about Santa Lucita, you have to let the third hit hit. Did you guys believe in Santa when you were a kid? Yes, I think I stopped believing in Santa in fifth grade. So you were like eleven. I, I stopped when I was like nine. I was like, yeah, no. Nah. I was you like, know, my parents were kind of douches about that. I never believed in Santa because they always told me, no, he's not real. <laughs> That's I, fucked up. I was just kind of like, oh, okay. So every so I would kill all the kids' expectations in like in like a pre-K. Yeah. About Santa, but no, he's not real. Yes, he is. No, he's not, he's not real. Out of all those, like, I'm just imagining the argument me and Jose had off, <laughs> off, off this, and then like, just him doing that to a little kid. No, he's not real. He's not real. No, he's not real. No. What do you no. think? In in your opinion, what do you think is scarier? The fact that not the fact, but the idea that a fat man comes down your chimney and delivers presents to you, or the fact that a fairy comes in the middle of the night and steals your teeth and leaves you money. Uh, I feel like I'm okay with both of them because they're both giving me shit. Yeah. Like, it's like, yeah, you can take my stuff, but I'm still getting a... Did your parents ever give you Tooth Fairy money? Uh, like on the first few, yeah. Nah. How much money did you get? A few bucks. My grandma gave me like 20 bucks. That's a lot. Both of my grandmas actually the gave fuck? me money. The fuck? Yeah. I never really get I, I got like five. I got like a five and I was like, oh my God, this is so much money. Because I'm six and I'm an idiot. Like, this is so much money. Creatures. They were like, no, <laughs> not real. Think, Easter Bunny's not I keep real. dying and you leave me there. <laughs> I think we have to go back to the forest. Stop, Bobby. Hold on, I gotta figure no, out. No, you keep killing me. Where the fuck are we going? Oh, oh, I think we, oh, we, there's like a secret tunnel in I think we dropped my croissant. <laughs> Stop! I almost dropped my croissant. <laughs> I love Marky. that video. I like this guy too. Yeah, he's cool. I didn't really feel like paying the uh, DLC, but you can actually play as all the uh, bad guys. Like you play as this guy and uh, Shitabe and the now, goat. Now you know why? You know, that freaking fire guy looks funky as shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were trying to make it look like uh, like the interpolation of like flame when you yeah. look at. You, you know, like you know, wiggles. like when he, he put alcohol into him and he got a yeah. bigger flame. You know why? Because he's an alcoholic. <laughs> What's very the sad. kind of joke was that? It's very sad. <laughs> it's like one of those anti jokes. <laughs> it's like a mushroom walks into a bar. The buddy asks for a drink. The bartender says no. The, mush the mushroom says why. He says, "Oh, the mushroom says why? I'm a fun guy." God. The mushroom goes home and realizes that there's senses of racism in his community. <laughs> oh my god. Anti jokes are hysterical. They're all, they're like the best things ever. If you don't know what an anti joke is, it's a joke, and when you're waiting for the punchline, it ends up not being a joke at all. Yeah. Jokes on you. Jokes on you. Oh, I love this guy. There's a guy in this basement with his barrels. Look, he's like, he's like, welcome. This is where I live with my barrel collection <laughs> under the safety of the bar. And what's now? You go there. It's like Tylo. The horror. <laughs> it's like Tylo. So here, I'm sitting here. here. Sitting here in my basement with my barrel collection. Chilling <laughs> out here in the Mexico hills. <laughs> in the Mexico hills. <laughs> oh my god. Ty Lopez, if you're watching this. Do you think this, he has that money? 
Tyler Lopez. Yeah, he definitely Yeah, has. but like he got it because his dad gave it to him. But now he's trying to tell people how he got it. But did you see did you see his new ad where he's like in his like his mansion or something? And then like he's in his mansion and I shit you not, he like he opens the front door to show you the front of the house and there's like a real estate agent in the front of it, like with a notepad and stuff. As if he's just like looking at the house. What? But like he is, he probably just like like just got all the money from like his dad, and now he's just like, this is how you get rich, and then like oh, some rich guy could just yeah. give me all of his stuff. right, just be like, all right, so you want to be a billionaire? Boom, 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 do all of this stuff, and you will be a billionaire. Thank you, guy. That's Ty Lopez. <laughs> Ty like, Lopez is the, the money guru. Yeah. Like low key gives you the keys to life, but nobody listens to him. Why is everybody making fun of me? I'm Here in my garage. I'll, ca I'll catch up to you. Here in my garage, just got this new blue Falcon. <laughs> Fun to drive up here in Mute City. Mute City. Wow. All right. Uh, I guess we'll end it here. No. Before we go into Force Del Chivo. Uh, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, hey, Just putting it out there. Hey, Mute hey, City. Hey, hey, the soundtrack to hey, Mute hey, City. One hey, of the hey, best. Hey. I feel like the best video game music. Dylan can't Mute play City. it. Yeah, but you can't hear it. Wow. I like that the, even I it? like the one yeah, in Melee. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I like the one in Melee though. Okay, bye guys. Bye. Say bye, Dylan. No. <laughs> no, fuck, fuck you. I was gonna talk about something, but I forgot. Okay, whatever. There's a whole other episode to do it. That one was fine too. I forgot what I was gonna say though. Like I was gonna say something really important.